Hello again, and tonight we're going to review some coffee. Um, one thing I'm going to show you is how I make uh, keto or bulletproof coffee, you know, coffee with butter. <laughs> so I got a generous amount of butter there. I uh, So just drop that right in. The other thing I wanted to show off is this milk frother. Now, I found that this actually works very, very well for um, mixing, incorporating the butter into the coffee. Because otherwise, if you just try and put butter, you know, oil and water separate, you have to have something to incorporate the two. And I've seen blenders used or other things like that. But this is a cheap device, you know, it runs about 10 bucks in the grocery store. And... It just powered off a couple of AA batteries. Does a great job of incorporating that coffee together. Um, so the other thing I'm showing is I got, of course, I've got this Black Rifle coffee coffee bags. I'm gonna put this together. Just slide all these pieces together with the Black Rifle logo showing to the outside and. Last bit, it's probably going to be the challenge. See if I can do that. There we go. Almost. There it is. Nope, nope, almost. <laughs> All right. There it is. So I've got the cone put together. And that just goes right in here. And then we set that right on top of your coffee pot, your coffee cup. And so if you look at the directions here, you can use them as um, like coffee coffee bags, like tea bags. Um, but you can also use it, and it was in fact it was sold in a package deal with the um, um, with this item here with the coffee uh, coffee maker here. So I'll try and put that in there in such a way that it won't pour down into there. There we go. Now, just pour my hot water over. Whoa! Okay, so obviously that's not working exactly as I expected. <laughs> out over the side so I gotta pour it much slower than that Put a little bit in it in at a time and it's still pouring over the edge <laughs> so I'm probably doing this wrong I mean because I can't imagine it's supposed to work this way and I think what I'm supposed to have is an, an additional cone filter that goes inside of here. And that would prevent what I've got going on here. Okay, I think I've got the trick to this. If I just pour it in very, very slowly, just a little bit at a time. I think that has it. Oh, except as soon as I do that I pour it a little too fast and it, and it seeps out. Now I'm not going to use this yet other than just to use it as a tamper because I just don't happen to have a, any other type of tool for this at the moment. I'm just going to try and tamp down this coffee bag a little bit and squeeze out some of the coffee that's already in there and see if that helps it. Helps it flow through. Looks like that might help. So, <clears throat> I mean, initially I'm thinking either I'm doing something incredibly wrong with this or these two items are not really made to go together. Um, which is a little odd because I mean they were sold 
together. They were listed as a package deal. Now you can buy them separately, of course, but this, when I purchased it, purchased it, it was a package deal. So I assume that they are supposed to go together, but <laughs> we'll see. And again, maybe I'm maybe I'm doing something wrong here with this. Um, so keep pouring more water water than it'll take. So, a little more. I'm use my frother just to tamp down the bag and make sure it's sitting in there make sure as much of the water is going through the grounds as possible. See, I'm treating this like it's a kind of like a drip coffee maker, you know, a traditional drip coffee maker. Um, but honestly, I just don't have the... Uh, with as slow as it is taking this water, that's kind of frustrating to have to try, to try and deal with that. <laughs> So anyway, there we go. We got it all through, all the water through, all, and that was just eight ounces of water that was pouring into there. I will use my frother just to squeeze and squeeze some of the water out. And now, we'll move this off. The first thing that you'll notice on this, the butter is not at all incorporated with the coffee. So, what I'm using is this milk frother. And watch what happens. So, I've got it turned on. Oops. Use this the other way. So, you'll notice right away it starts to incorporate very well. So I think my batteries are actually a little low in this, but it's still. So, as I can move around here. Now, obviously, I'll caution you on the one thing, is that this thing can build up quite a vortex. So if I put it down lower in the fluid, you'll, you'll notice that it's rising up quite a bit around the sides here. And if this thing had a full charge to it, it would be even worse. Um, and that's not, a, that's not a bad thing. It's just you got to make sure you don't put too much coffee in your mug when you're trying to do this. you got to make sure you have an extra room in the top to be able to uh, achieve this. And so, there it is. So just this little $10 milk frother. And now, I have the butter fully incorporated in the coffee. So let's give it a try. That, that is good. Um, you know, if you've never tried... Um, you know, butter and coffee, I mean, it sounds like an odd, sounds like an odd combination, but if you think about it, what's butter? Butter is churned cream. How many people have cream in their coffee? <laughs> so, it's like, it's just a slightly different, <laughs> different version of the same thing. Um, obviously, a few less milk solids within it, you get more of the pure fat from the, uh, from the cream in butter, um, but it turns out good. And I will say this, you know, even though, even the difficulty I had with getting, you know, getting these coffee bags to pour through, and again, I could be doing things exactly wrong. On the package, it does say, it does show it used as like a tea bag. So you drop it into the coffee or into the hot water in your cup and stir it around squeeze it out and pull it out so like you would use a tea bag now it was sold with this device right here um, so I assume that they're meant to go together now so all that said I could still be doing something wrong with it I'm not sure um, it could just be that I was pouring it too fast maybe it's meant to be a very slow pour and again, you know, there's a possibility that you're supposed to use a cone filter with this. And, you know, maybe, that, maybe that's all it was. But, Black Rifle Coffee, coffee bags, makes excellent keto coffee. <laughs>